Guten Tag! That's a clue as to the type of noodles we're cooking up next at Renata's Old Salem Cafe in Hanover Park. Clue number two, the first clue was in German. I just gave it away. So this is our noodle episode, and in Germany there is a great traditional, almost side in some dishes, that takes center stage in one of your plates, which is Spätzle. For people who don't know, what is Spätzle? It's a homemade uh, noodle. We have two types of Spätzle. The simple one that accompanies a meal. Spätzle dinner. Or a meal itself, and you can add bacon. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. What do you mean you can you add have, bacon? You, you have, have to, to add, add bacon. bacon. Creamy, it's soft, it has a good texture to it. Kind of between a noodle and a potato. When you find somebody that specializes in it, knows what they're doing, it's really good. I can't get enough of the spetzel. I love it. It's hard work. It's hard work? It is hard, you'll find out. Well, yeah, you, <laughs> me, me and hard work, we really don't go well together. <laughs> Why are you Chicago's best? We have authentic food. Our service is great. We treat our customers like family. Treat your customers like family, but you treat the TV shows that come here like they should be just doing hard work. Yeah. That fits, doesn't it? I guess so. Is it tough to make special? It's an art. <laughs> it is quite a workout, I must say. If anything, my brain's not going to be confused today because we have, I'm guessing this is flour. Flour. Water. Water. Eggs. Eggs, yes. So right now, you see, you still have some flour that you can see. So you want to keep mixing. You gotta beat. You, got, you gotta beat it. Like you're mad. Like I'm mad? Yeah. <laughs> Just keep it in the bowl. Please. Oh, keep it in the bowl. <laughs> I'm mad at ya. I'm mad. That man looks really pissed. This is what we use to make our spots. That's what gives it its shape. With this hand, you're gonna hold this down, make sure it doesn't move. Okay. And with the other hand, you're gonna take your dough and you're just gonna scrape it with this. Yep. There you go. Make make sure scrape it harder. Put some muscle into it. I, I like, have my muscles. Oh! There you the go. The reveal. I like that. All right. Do they need to be fished out? Yes, they do. I gave you two tablespoons of butter, bacon, and onion. What I want you to do is add your baby spätzlein. Oh, prettiest kids in town. And we're gonna add our mozzarella. We ready to plate it? Yes, we are. So now take that plate. There's always a piece of cheese that doesn't wanna come off. You wanna talk about art? That right there is art. And we're not a spoon with some dripping mozzarella and bacon. You keep that, that's for you. Thank you, Elliot. I will frame it. I want to dig into this spätzle. That's tricky to make. It is, isn't it? But the simplicity allows the spätzle to shine and show you how delicious it is. Totally different than a regular pasta. And, and the texture is, is different. Can't come to a German restaurant without getting our hands on a little bit of schnitzel. No, you, that's a must. Succulent, juicy, tender. I have more. <laughs> That's true, she does own the place. It's a trifecta of deliciousness, and I love spätzle. And it is something that should be celebrated. It is hard to make, but I you know what? You. It's I worth it. You. Prost. Prost. Good job. Great job. Great job on the art as well. Can you bag one of those up? I'm going to display it on my wall at home. <laughs>